Hello. Welcome back to Timbermates. Cold version. <laughs> the cold version. Cold weather version. <laughs> so, it is like just above freezing right now. It was like minus 10 Celsius last night. Uh, we're going for a little river cruise today. We put out a couple milling videos, but what could be cooler than milling something that was cut down over 100 years ago and been underwater the whole time? So, we're going to go see if we can find one today. Fold to shore. Uh, mill it and make something cool out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be quite the adventure. The river is very choppy right now. And the boat's been in. <laughs> we haven't for like months. The boat's been sitting in the in the uh, marina for months. We don't even know if it's going to start. So Yeah, so that'll be our first. Uh, that, that's our first challenge. <laughs> so yeah. let's see how we do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, starting the boat is obstacle number two. Obstacle number one is actually getting to the boat because they pulled the ramp to get to the docks. So We're going to see if we can sneak on. So it is end of November and uh, we've been pretty quiet on the channel because oh we've just had an insane season. Oh my gosh, he went in! Still dry. <laughs> Toe feels still dry. <laughs> Looking good, love. <laughs> Let's just do it like a ladder. You're amazing. I think maybe I'll let you start it and bring it to shore over there. I don't see a lot of sun over here. I think the battery's gonna be stoned dead. Uh, that's likely. Oh my gosh. As if. Cool. Starts better than it does in the summer. Okay, so I'm parked at the boat launch and Brandon's gonna meet me here. It is looking choppy out there, check that out. This probably doesn't do it justice at all. I don't see the boat moving yet, so I don't know if he got going yet. So he did get the boat going. My ropes were all frozen to the- Oh yeah? Okay, off we go. Yeah. It is chilly out here. the drone up is pretty cool and uh, anyways we're in this little bay now and now we start the search we know a few people who have found lots of deadheads in this area so I don't need one floating though to be able to get at it unless you want to go for a swim uh, nope okay we've been searching for a bit I think we're gonna go to a different spot, but it's a little further away. And I want coffee first. That looks like a dead head. We've got our dead head. Wow, that's going to be so cool. All right. Oh, it's floating too. Okay, let's grab the, this, the metal strap. Uh, no! Yes, we got it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how long this guy is. Can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. I, I, it's not very long. to see when it's so choppy out here. Hey, for more boating tips. <laughs> Follow us. Follow <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having a blast out here yeah. even though it's pretty chilly. 
And this is just so cool. I can't wait to mail this thing. Yeah. This thing could be well over a hundred years old. Yeah. Just sitting there under the river, waiting for someone to come along and scoop it up. Cool. I'll just do it like this so I can't get anywhere. That's so cool. <laughs> Should be able to just drive away now. Yep. <laughs> how close the rings are together. It's so look, dense. Look all right here, how tight that is. And up here again, look at how tight these rings are. Wow. Oh my gosh, I haven't counted yet. It's gotta be 50, 60 years old for the size of it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely not huge. It's not big, no. But, but it's old, so it's really big. old. Yeah. Not to mention being probably over 100 years old. A hundred years sunken. A hundred years since it's been cut, yeah, yeah. Or, or or more. We don't know for sure, but yeah, it's definitely old. Like, it was definitely 50, I'll, I'll count it but later, but it's, it had to have been at least 50 years old or, or more. Okay. So it's it probably started growing over 150 years ago, and it's been sitting for probably almost a hundred years. So it's going to make some interesting, interesting grain patterns with those tight, tight uh, rings. I'm excited to cut her open. Yeah, it's really cool. I love the look of this. It's I know. So, like that's just been slowly should, rounded. Can we chop off the we end? Can, and we just can keep just this? we can keep the end. Yeah, for sure. We we should do that. Do something with it. Look how wide it is here. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to use a lot of that anyways. Once yeah. we square, if we square this chunk, so we could def definitely just keep the butt end of it because that's so that cool. That looks just, so neat. Yeah. Just see how how they notched it. Yeah, you see their notch in there. And how it's been rounded over the years, just being sitting underwater for so long. Super cool. For length, you've got 16 and a half feet, about 198 inches, which is makes perfect sense because if you're trying to make dimensional lumber, a 16 footer or just over, so you got room to cut the notch off here, would give you like a perfect 16 foot, which is dimensional lumber pretty cool the other end the fat end you're looking at about 13 inches the widest point nine inches in diameter so we're gonna cut it probably roughly in half and mill it in two pieces because 16 feet is just way more than we can use Hard to see it. Yeah, you have to maybe wet it down. Yeah, we could try wetting it. Right there, I guess. Oh, 
Make like one inch boards out of it. Yeah. One and a quarter maybe. Allow us some sanding room. Live edge. Nice size for a shell. Yeah, it is. Do we want to make shells out of it? Because if we do, we could square it off the one side. Yeah, it just make it a lot easier. Square two sides, and then, then it's just ready go. to go. Just plane it, sand it, done. Let's do that. All right. Yeah, I like that. We'll do cool. that. Okay. This one's pretty close to an inch and a half as well. Yeah? Yeah. Out and then clean them. Yeah. You really clean them up. Seven, about eight and a half. We'll just leave it the way it is and we can always bring it back later. That's not too bad, we can throw in the truck and bring it up. Okay, these are like exactly the same size. Oh wow. See that? This is a spruce. We believe this is a spruce as well. Now, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. This one's definitely far more dense. Yeah, well you can probably see it just from there, but. Yeah. Cool. Actually, if we do this, you might need to be able to see it better. The weight difference is crazy. Ridiculous. Yeah. Cool. So what you ended up getting out of this is uh, five live edge boards, about an inch and a half thick, by roughly nine inches wide. Maybe some live edge shelves. Definitely uh, live edge shelves. Stay tuned, I might make a video of it. Yeah, and then this guy here, the uh, the blade ended up popping off the uh, the mill, 
But then we're like, you know what? Instead of cutting this off, we should just keep it. Keep this live edge beam. It would look really cool. Yeah. So if we use this, you could, you could just cut the ends square and flat where it would sit on something. But then leave this as the underside. It would be really cool as, yeah. a, uh, as a beam instead of just... Um, having it square because you'll get the two sides that'll be nice and clean you'll see the grain and the yeah. underneath would be kind of neat yeah so, unique be unique yeah anyway so that's probably what we'll do with this later yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this uh if you haven't subscribed we're gonna do a lot more interesting things like this oh, you say something. <laughs> i'm a youtuber full-time that's what i do <laughs> she has a tree business and has a as a real job i just youtube so that's why i'm so good at this <laughs> anyways um thanks for watching hope you liked it and yeah, uh, we, I... in the comments if you guys have ideas for us for interesting things you'd like to see you know kind of what we can do and what we have so give us some ideas we'd yeah. love to try some new stuff yeah let us know what you guys think about this video as well thanks. very much guys sorry i cut you off it's good. thanks very much guys we will see you on the next video where we do something Interesting, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.